Welcome to GST 203, Introduction to Philosophy and Logic. Today we are going to study Module 2, Unit 5, The Idea of African Philosophy. The search for African philosophy is dominated by the need for a new identity, authentic to Africans and distinct from those imposed by Western culture and tradition. Before now, the beliefs of the Western philosophers was that two species of human beings exist. On one hand were the Westerners, who are seen and are believed to be the only set of human beings who could reason. And on the other side were the Africans, who lacked ideas and whom rational thought was considered impossible. For instance, some Western scholars like Hegel believe that Africans are people against which all reason could be contrasted. Some believe even if Africans can reason, it is not as developed as what exists in the Western society. Since Africans are a special species of human race, Africans cannot philosophize, understand or demonstrate any form of philosophical enterprise. This unit is therefore an examination of this Western opinion on African philosophy with a view to show the meaning of African philosophy. Meaning and nature of African philosophy. You can begin by asking yourself some questions such as Were our forebearers non-thinking creatures? Are we still thinking? Do we have a school of thought that equips our policy makers, guides our scholars and provides guidance for our development? Or are we just living on borrowed thoughts and precepts? African philosophy can be formally defined as a critical thinking by Africans on their experiences of reality. Nigerian-born philosopher K.C. Anyao defined African philosophy as that which concerns itself with the way in which African people of the past and present make sense of their destiny and of the world in which they live. Currents in African philosophy, ethno-philosophy, Ethnophilosophy has been used to record the beliefs found in African cultures. Such an approach treats African philosophy as consisting in a set of shared beliefs, values, categories, and assumptions that are implicit in the language, practices, and beliefs of African cultures. Sage philosophy. According to Odera Uruka, sage philosophy is the expressed thoughts of wise men and women in any given community and is a way of thinking and explaining the world that fluctuates between popular wisdom and dialectic wisdom, and expounded wisdom and the rational thoughts of some given individuals within a community. Nationalist and ideological philosophy might be considered a special case of philosophic sagacity. One of the criticisms of this approach is that not all reflection and questioning is philosophical. Besides, if African philosophy were to be defined purely in terms of philosophic sagacity, then the thoughts of the sages could not be African philosophy, for they did not record them from other sages. Some types of philosophy usually identified as that produced by African philosophers trained in the Western philosophical tradition that embraces a universal view of the methods and concerns of philosophy include professional philosophy. There is also hermeneutic philosophy which insists that philosophy in Africa should be hermeneutic in nature. Others include literary and artistic philosophy. The historical trend. This idea was initiated by Ogwe Jofo. He contends that the idea of philosophy has been in existence in Africa even before the development of the Greek philosophy. The argument then is that it is the African philosophy through the Egyptian connection that influenced the emergence of philosophy in Greece. In conclusion, the contention of whether there is African philosophy or not has been laid to rest given the various African philosophers' views that have expounded in this unit. Although some positions may be contestable, however, given the level of the growth of African philosophy and its waves in the contemporary time, the philosophy is assuming the same status with the Western philosophy. Thank you.